In 2013, a government launched a comprehensive review of uh, British Columbia's liquor laws and they wanted to make sure that the liquor laws uh, matched up with societal values and um, modern business realities. Liquor Policy Review made 73 recommendations for reform. From the receipt of the report in January 2014 until today, uh, we've completed 90% of the recommendations. So some of the big changes that, that people will see is that uh, we now have uh, liquor sales in grocery stores. Um, you can go to a farmer's market and um, wineries, breweries and distilleries can um, offer you products for sale. And if you're a family and um, you need to stop into a pub for a meal, most of them now offer um, family food service and minors are allowed. The consultations were done across the province in a number of different ways. The, the main challenge was that it's a massive amount of change. So we got everyone together and we asked all our staff, how do we do this? And they came up with three things. We have to figure out how to manage our resources. We have to change our culture. And the third thing was everyone has to be in. There's no way we can get this all done in the timelines that we wanted to with anyone on the sidelines. With the changes with the Liquor Policy Review, what we really do is more of a risk assessment on you know, events like festivals, um, and we apply the risk assessment to determine what needs to be in place in terms of protocols. We also allow that you know, families who want to bring their children to events, um, they can have areas where it's appropriate for children to be, where the primary focus still isn't that of the consumption of alcohol, but um, it provides sort of more a family atmosphere that uh, just promotes uh, inclusivity. The reason that we regulate liquor is uh, we want to minimize the harms um, caused by alcohol. So one of the things that we worked on with the Ministry of Health uh, was our mandatory display campaign. Uh, we require all licensees to display social responsibility messaging in their establishments. And we worked with the Ministry of Health um, uh, social policy researchers and industry to ensure that the content that's displayed in establishments uh, meets all of their needs. Rewriting the Liquor Control and Licensing Act uh, has done a number of things. One is it's, it's mainly streamlined it for industry. It's made it much more clear and, and easy to understand for industry. But most importantly, I think what we realized out of this exercise is this, these things evolve. So the act is built to be flexible, to be able to um, evolve with time and the way society evolves and the different changes Needs. So one of the biggest shifts that we saw was a change in our branch's culture. We went from um, viewing ourselves as a regulator to staff seeing their role as assisting licensees like bar and restaurant owners to comply with their liquor laws and to be successful. 